Over the past few weeks, Cardi B and her ex-boyfriend Offset have experienced many highs and lows in their relationship. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. She stated that she had moved on from their relationship, threatened to sue him, and more. In response, he claimed his friends had warned him about her, accused her of having an affair when she was expecting their child, and more. As of right present, their feud seems to have mostly subsided. Last weekend, they were even seen together at the same club, although it seemed to be an accident because they made sure to keep their distance. Even the claim that Cardi has moved on with Stefan Diggs has been the subject of some gossip. Instead of confronting these claims directly, she chose to describe them as funny and cute. Offset has also provided input on them. Fans were asked in an Instagram poll by the outlet if they thought the reports about Cardi and the football player were true. It's interesting that Offset voted. Social media users are amused despite the fact that it's unclear exactly what he had to say about the rumors. Now what did Set vote? Lol, one asked in the comments section. What makes it funnier is the fact that Offset voted and they still live in the same house, another said. People thought they were a new couple when they saw Amanda Shumpert and Amber Rose together in Miami Beach last month. Additionally, this comes after the former's divorce with Tiana Taylor, which, despite some rough moments, appeared to be a rather amicable separation overall. In addition, Shumpert recently addressed and dispelled these accusations. He said, indicating that there's nothing romantic going on between him and Rose. Problem solved. Not exactly, actually. Iman Shumpert didn't immediately respond to Daja Nicole, a friend of Tiana Taylor, who said that the alleged Amber Rose liaison wasn't just genuine, but also started before to Shumpert and Taylor's divorce. This is so funny to me, Nicole commented. Because when we were on that boat on New Year's Eve you and your friend villainized me for peeping the sneaky ST that was going on while Tiana and her kids were on the same boat, and I was right. Nicole explained that Shumpert allegedly tried to cry a river on Taylor's phone the next day. My friend has been nothing but graceful this whole time but you played a F king game, she added. Tiana I'm sorry that I got this deep but I'm tired of taking the high road. You've done everything in your power to save this man and his image. Before concluding her thoughts, Nicole tagged Rose's Instagram account. At Ambrose I wish you would deny it for these blogs because I recorded the whole conversation. And y'all making excuses about him being single but he was good and married when this ST started. Corny asf. She wrote. In the comments section of the shade room, Nicole's feelings and apparent airing out of Shumpert, and Rose's activities sparked reactions from social media users. Recently, Amber Rose and Amanda Shumpert were seen in Florida savoring the last few days of summer. Recent images released by Mega show that they had a great day together lounging on the beach. Shumpert wore simple white shorts, while Rose looked stunning in a black bikini. Naturally, the trip has raised concerns about whether their relationship is intensifying, or if they were just hanging out as pals. Having said that, they supposedly avoided any actions that would suggest they are a couple, such as holding hands or kissing. However, it is said that after hanging out on the beach, they went back to their swanky oceanfront hotel together. The pictures arrived just after Shumpert and his ex-wife Tiana Taylor finalized their divorce, and neither of them has responded to them. Late last year, word of their breakup initially leaked out, but Taylor filed in January 2023. As part of their settlement, Shumpert allegedly had to provide Taylor a one-time, seven-figure sum of money. Additionally, she retained four marital properties, totaling almost $10 million in value. Shumpert was mandated to pay their girls' private school tuition and $8,000 in child support each month. He maintained a condo in Miami and properties in South Georgia and Decatur. Regarding Amber Rose's activities, she has been in the news a lot lately for her support of Donald Trump in the presidential contest. She even spoke this summer in Milwaukee during the Republican National Convention. Ruby Rose's accusation that Drewski paid for her time doesn't seem to worry her too much. Drewski published a meme of the 2003 version of Love Don't Cost a Thing in response to Ruby Rose's ex-posts, in which she claimed that their whole relationship was simply one big marketing ploy. But Drewski photoshopped in his own visage to replace Christina Millian's co-star Nick Cannon in the movie. Love Don't Cost a Thing a remake of the 1987 film Can't Buy Me Love is, as you may already be aware, a coming-of-age teen love story. It revolves around Alvin Johnson Nick Cannon, who pretends to be Paris Morgan's Christina Millian boyfriend in exchange for fixing her mother's car, which she damaged. But eventually, they start to feel genuine affection for one another. It's unclear whether Drewski was trying to let us know that things between him and Ruby Rose got serious at any point or if he was merely using it as an excuse to laugh off the accusations. It appears like Rose and Drewski never really had a connection. The musician stated on her ex just now that Drewski paid her to pose as his girlfriend for media purposes and that they never truly dated. To begin the outrageous admission, she wrote, and for the record I never slept with that man, and a paid for PR. Not the PY Rose, did, however, remark that the internet comic is funny and nice though. In spite of the supposed nature of their relationship, she went on to clarify that they had never shared a bed. I only give it up if I'm in love, I uncare how much money Anna got. I'm rich ass flaw.